Hello everyone, good evening. So this week I am mixing it up this week and I'm coming to talk to you about stuff rather than doing a workout with you. So I just wanted to mix it up, you know, it's nice to give different information. So this week I'm going to be doing talks instead of workouts. Now I have made some notes because those of you who know me well enough know that I like to waffle. Um, so I thought if I make some notes, if you see me looking, if I make some notes then I'm not waffling because otherwise we'll be here all week, won't we? So I wanted to come on every day this week and just chat to you about something. So just give you some information, maybe, maybe be able to like motivate, inspire in some way. And that was why I wanted to come on this week and do that rather than just doing a workout, which we do all the time. And there's like hundreds of workouts on my Facebook page and on the Instagram that you can just go back to whenever you want. So the main reason was I thought if I come on, maybe I can impart some knowledge and maybe give you some motivation. And it also gives people the chance if anyone's got any questions, then I'm here to answer any questions as well. So that's what the point of today is. So I've picked a little different topic for every day this week to talk about and it's only going to be little 10 15 minute talks but i'm going to give you a chance to um ask any questions that you might want to ask as well and then obviously you've got the chance to ask me a question or the chance to just chat with me so that's what this was all about and the reason i wanted to come on and do this was so you know i like to give knowledge to people i like to if i've got something that i think people can benefit from and if I've got some information that I think might help, motivate, inspire you in some way, then I want to be able to to come on and do that. And that's what these this that's what this week's lives are going to be all about. They're going to be all coming on and me imparting some knowledge, helping you with something, and hopefully motivating and inspiring you. And then here to answer any questions. So today I've decided to talk about motivation. Now, motivation is just literally the desire to do things, isn't it? And it's the difference between waking up in the morning and going to do what you want to do and then waking up in the morning and just putting it off for another day. And motivation is a big one when it comes to exercise, when it comes to diet, when it comes to chasing our goals and when it comes to anything like that, it's motivation. And one of the things when I ask people what they're struggling with, one of the biggest things that people always say is they're struggling with motivation motivation to get started motivation to get back into the swing of things and it can be hard and when you know when at the minute like everything's a bit up in the air isn't it but motivation and there's different types of motivation there's your, your extrinsic motivations that come from like an outside such as like your motivation for some people could be for a, a recognition or social praise or something like that and then there's your intrinsic um, motivations that are from within it's from the individual such as you're doing something for personal gratification and solving a problem rather than doing it for someone else you're doing it for yourself so there's different types of motivation and first you need to find out why you're doing what you're doing like are you doing it for yourself are you doing it for someone else what is the goal at the end what is the motivation to to wanting to do these things but mindset really is key now i'm not being ignorant if i do look away as i said i've made notes because I have, a key, I have a habit of waffling, so I thought if I make notes, I'm not going to. So your mindset is key, isn't it? And your mind's got to be ready before your body is ever going to be ready to do anything. So it is also a matter of like mind over body when we're talking about things. But being in the right frame of mind is massive when it comes to staying motivated and staying on track for anything that you do. And if you're not ready to do something, no matter what it may be, no matter how hard you try, if you're not there in your mind, then it's never going to happen. And then that results in you getting frustrated, you know, getting a cob on and then you give up and then we start that vicious circle again. We start by mindset's not there, we get ready, we get frustrated, we give up and it goes round and round and round and something has got to break that vicious circle. Something's got to break that for you to come in. And I always say to people, find out what your why is. So once you know your why, the motivation is so much easier to come. So why do you want to achieve that goal? Why is it you want to do this? Why is it one you want to gain this praise or you want to gain that money? Whatever your why is, find out what the why is and write it down. Because once you've got a why and you've got a reason to be doing things, it's so much easier to stay motivated because you've got that why, you've got that that connection, that emotional connection to a goal or whatever it is that you want to achieve. And even, you know, if it's exercise related or not, um, you know what I'm like, I love to waffle, don't I? It's not rocket science that our heads play a huge role in how well we stick to like healthy eating, how well we stick to 
like an exercise regime and our mental outlook definitely affects our energy our enthusiasm and our courage to try different things and to try and go find it's about finding that inner focus that you can build on your confidence build on your enthusiasm and build on your energy so what is your why like what are you losing motivation of lately is it motivation when it comes to food is it motivation when it comes to work is it your career is it your business is it fitness is it friendships is it relationships what is it right now that you're losing motivation in and maybe it's time to sit down like i have notebooks like i've got notebooks coming out my ears I have a notebook for everything. I'm like, I have a notebook nerd. But what is it if you find something that you're losing motion, motivation on? It's time to sit down and write down what are the things that are standing in your way. Why do you feel that you're losing motivation? Is it because it's not what you really want? Is it because the goal isn't what you really want sometimes? Is it because the goal is too big and it's not attainable? So you're losing motivation by going for something that's too big rather than breaking it down into small steps. Or is it that you've just got to the point where you can't be asked basically and you just don't want to? Or maybe it's time to just step away from that goal and step away from that thing you've been chasing and move on to something else. If if that is the case, I don't know. So I thought I'd make a, a little list of things. And instead of looking at what you want or what you need and what you haven't achieved and how about instead try looking at how far you've come, look at everything that you do have, look at everything that you have achieved so far. So instead of focusing on the negatives and all what you haven't got and all what you need and haven't got, focus on all what you do have and all what you have achieved and go from that frame of mind, go from that positive frame of mind. So making exercise a priority is a big one. So think of it in as escape for the day, a bit of time just for you, you know, it's, you, that that time amongst the craziness of life think of your exercise as like your time out it's your time exercise proof your brain so what excuses are you making start to think of the reasons why you should do something rather than the reasons maybe why you shouldn't do something list all your obstacles that away and then come up with strategies to overcome them so what is stopping you so it could be worth writing down and saying like this stops me so what can I do to stop that from stopping me? I'm, I'm breaking down things. It might take a while, but it's breaking down things and it is going to help in the long run. Remembering that you're human, you know, we're all, we're not, we're not all going to achieve everything. Some days we're going to have bad days. Some days we're going to have good, good days, but we are just human. Telling yourself you can, then you're more likely to do it. If you just say, well, I can't do that. I can't bother. I can't do that. So I'm not going to bother. Then you're not going to be able to do it. Because if you tell yourself you're more likely that you can't, then you're more likely not to do it. And not beating yourself up because it is the worst thing we can do, you know. It's so easily done. We do something wrong, we do something silly and we're just sitting there having a word with ourselves and bad mouthing ourselves, you know, and it, it doesn't get us anywhere. It's not going to help with the motivation beating ourselves up about something that we have or haven't done. And if you're slipping up, so what, you know, a human, recognise it, get straight back on it. Keep Maybe keeping a food and mood diary, maybe keeping an exercise diary, maybe journaling on how you feel. Writing down your why, like maybe writing down what it is you want to achieve, why you want to achieve it, how you're going to go about it. And staying motivated but surrounding yourself with people that are like on your on your path, on your energy level. And people that are going to support you when it comes to motivation. So I really hope this has helped. I just wanted to come on and, you know, just have a little chat if anyone's struggling or your motivation is going down at the moment please get in touch let me know why let me know what you think and what your thought process is behind it if you're watching this on the catch-up and you are struggling motivation wise then let me know but remember if you've got to really want whatever it is at the end of the day because if you don't really really want it it's not as easy to stick to it and it's okay sometimes if we lose motivation and if we have a bit of time off and we step back and we slack a little bit you know we can't always be 24 7 365 days a year 100 miles an hour sometimes we have got to step back starting slow as well don't put on too much pressure on yourself like when you want to achieve something or when you want to start something or you're motivated to do something it's, it's all guns blazing and it's 100 miles an hour and we're trying to get in there and we're looking so, so far ahead and really we should just be taking each day as it comes, taking each little step as it comes. We won't get overwhelmed, we're not going to get frustrated and we're going to be able to take those small little steps. And goals might change along the way. You might have a massive goal and then you might get halfway to it and go, do you know what, that's changed because I've changed. So looking at your goals, looking at your motivation, look what, what's holding you back or what's held you back in the past. What excuses are you making? What things are standing in your way? What obstacles are standing in your way? It's really good to just get pen and pen to paper and just scroll it all out, like word vomit, just getting it out your head onto paper. 
what you wanted to achieve, why you wanted to achieve it, do you really want to achieve it, what stands in your way, what your mindset saying, and all these little things come in. As I said, mindset is key, and your frame of mind is key when you're coming to to do stuff like this. So if you're watching live now, is there something you're struggling with? Is there something motivation wise that stops you? What is it you want to achieve? What's stopping you from achieving it? And what do you feel that is standing in your way? If you're live now, feel free to put them in the comments and I will happily help you out. If you're watching this on catch up again, drop a comment in. Let me know why do you feel you're losing motivation. Sometimes we're just stuck in that that rut, which I'm going to talk about later this week. But we're stuck in that rut and we're just going around in that vicious circle. And sometimes we need something to just break us out of the circle. So yes, let me know what your motivation struggles are. Let me know what you're struggling with. Let me know... And what is your goal? What is it that you want to achieve? What have you tried in the past that's maybe failed? And what do you think you can do differently this time? If you've tried something in the past and the way you've tried it, it hasn't worked out for you, then next time you go for that goal or go for that thing, there's no point trying the same thing again. Try something different. Try a different way of doing things. Try a different goal. Maybe that goal's not even for you. Was there any love in it? Was there any emotion in it? Was there any feeling in it? Or did you just... Were you doing it for you? Is it... Is, that's another one are you doing it for you or are you doing it for someone else like if it if you're not doing it for you as a person and you to internally and you feel it and the emotions are there and you're doing it for someone else then you're just not going to be attached to it there's going to be no emotional connection then there's no reason to want to do it so that's what today was all about it was just coming on and talking about motivation and hopefully giving some people some inspiration and some tips going forward but any comments, any questions, drop them in the comments under this video. Or if it's a bit more private and you don't want to, feel free to drop me a message and I'll hopefully be able to help you. I will be back tomorrow at half five with our next instalment of this week's like motivational talks. As I said, every day I'm going to touch on something different. And tomorrow I'm going to talk about being stuck in that rut and how you can get yourself out of the other side. So hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks for joining me tonight and I'll see you all tomorrow.